So now that we've made sure that we've picked a good niche, now we need to go and find some design inspiration. So what I love to do is come over to Etsy.com. If you haven't been on Etsy, it's kind of like a custom craft marketplace, but you'll find that you can get a ton of inspiration on really good ideas for designs here. So what we're going to do is come right up to the search bar and type in our niche followed by shirt. So we'll type in yoga shirt. And now you can see in these results, you have a ton of hits. So the ones right up top are advertisements. So don't think that those are the top results. Those are the ones that people are paying to put right there, but don't immediately write them off. Just know that those ones are being paid to be on the top row. So what we're going to do is scroll through these listings to get idea inspiration while looking for three specific things. So the first specific thing is to make sure that the designs are something that we can actually create. If you find really intricate designs on here, something like this, you're just not going to be able to create that unless you are a graphic designer or you're paying someone to create something similar to that. What I prefer to look for are things like quotes, like inhale, exhale. You can make this in a ton of different variations and you can absolutely do that just by typing text. Things that are just words like this, you can use quotes, you can spin them around. And I'm gonna talk about that more in a bit. But the first thing is to absolutely make sure that they are simple designs. I like to focus on words. So that's the first thing we're looking for. The second thing that we're focusing on is the reviews. So we wanna see how many reviews there are. So as you can see, when we scroll through here, there's something like 2,800, and then we've got 758. And then on a shirt like this, we have 57, we've got 125. You wanna see if you can get into the thousands. Judge it by how many reviews it has compared to the others. So as you can see, anything over a thousand is really getting a lot of reviews in this category. So those are going to be good options. And then the third thing that we're gonna look for is what the actual review is. So as you can see here, this is a full five star, full five star, full five star. And then as we scroll through here, we might find some that are lower. So this one's one star. Someone really didn't like that when they got it. So as we're scrolling through here, we're keeping those three things in mind. Make sure you're looking for designs that are mostly words and things that you can actually create. Number two, making sure that there's a lot of reviews. And then number three, making sure that those reviews are good reviews, five stars is preferred. So with all that in mind, you can scroll through here and get inspiration. Now, when you find ones that you like, you can just screenshot them. If you're on a Mac, you press shift command three and it'll screenshot that page. And then you can reference that screenshot later for some design inspiration. Now, if you're using a PC or you just don't want a screenshot like that, you can take photos on your phone of the specific ones that you like, or you can jot down what those quotes were on a post-it note or something, just so you can reference that later when we're doing designing. Now, the big thing that I wanna talk about here is you cannot just go on here and copy someone's design exactly. Teespring is actually going to penalize you for that. They'll remove your design and then they actually lower your trust score, making it harder for you to get sales because they won't be promoting your stuff organically. However, you can absolutely use this for inspiration. So this is actually information straight from Teespring on exactly what we're talking about right now. And it actually gives examples, so easier to see. So if we look over here, we have the original shirt, which is beards are best. And then we have someone who copied it and that is not good. Now, if you use that for inspiration and you create something that looks like this, beards, the best, and then put multiple beards on there, that's completely fair game. Now, as we scroll down here, we can see a few more examples. So just changing the color of the shirt does not suffice and is still copyright infringement. However, if we use that same idea and we change the quote slightly, it's completely okay and now that's your own design. And then the last example here is with images. So as you can see, there is a figure right here and we cannot use the same figure on another shirt. However, if you change it slightly, now it's yours again. So they change the words and they change the figure. Now that's your own design and that's fair to use. So if you wanna know more about the copyright and how it all works for Teespring, link to this article so you can read all of this in more detail if you want to. But the moral of the story is when you're scrolling through Etsy like this, don't copy something exactly, make it your own. Change the order of the words, put on different images, that's creating your own. And the best thing about Teespring is when you actually create your own original design, by default, copyright law gives you that copyright. You don't have to do anything. You now own that copyright. So if someone else copies your design, you can report that right to Teespring. Teespring will investigate it. If they deem that it's copyright infringement on your design, they will remove that listing and lower that seller's trust score. So just know that you can use this to your advantage too, as long as you're creating original designs. So what I'm gonna do is just pick one design that we're gonna use for actually creating the design on this tutorial. I'm gonna go with something like this. This is yoga, I'm down dog. It's it's like downward dog. So that's kind of the pun right there. It's got over a thousand reviews and five stars. So this is looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to probably change this to yoga. I'm so down. Try to keep it close enough to go off that same pun of downward dog, but changing it to make it my own. So mine's going to be yoga. I'm so down. So what do we do from this point? 